everybody, it's Christine and I am here today with a new Stash Bash video. This month we are working with patterned papers and even more unique, we are working with patterned papers from companies that are no longer making scrapbooking products. We thought that would be a fun twist on things and so we decided to do that and I am excited to see what other companies the ladies have busted out. I pulled out some Basic Gray, which was not a company that I used a lot of, to be honest, but uh, I had this collection still sitting in my drawer and I just love it. So I was excited to finally use it. As you can see, I started with some of the layout already done and that's because the video, my camera stopped recording. And so you didn't get to see me fussy cut all those flowers and doilies that I added on, which is probably fine. You get the idea. Um, but the patterned paper originally had that frame and had that scalloped edge and then all those flowers on there there was some in the bottom left corner but for the most part i cut those out from another paper and added those on and actually the black doilies came from another paper so several different papers i i uh, cut into on that one and then the title lovely comes from bella boulevard which they are obviously still in business um and i fussy cut that one out just because i liked the colors of it and I liked how it went with this layout. Uh, the picture is of me and my daughter from her 10th birthday last week and I just love how the picture turned out and the fun that we were having at the time so I wanted to capture that as soon as possible. So you can see now I am adding a little mixed media. I am using watercolor twist pencils that I got from SRM stickers and what I've done is I've taken a green one and a yellow one and I drew on some cellophane packaging and then I use my water blending pen to blend those colors together and I'm pulling them off of that packaging then and just adding some little watercolor yellow spots. Um, this was a really quick, simple, easy way to add some color and by mixing the two different colors of the pencils, I was able to get the shade of yellow that I was going for. Otherwise it would have been too yellow or too green and mixing them together kind of gave me a mustard yellow color that I was striving for that was already in some of the flowers on the page. So quick easy technique that you should definitely try. I love what it added to this layout, the different texture and such. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I am going to be adding on some embellishment stickers. The stickers come from Cosmo Cricut and they have all these different phrases. Now Cosmo Cricut is still around but not producing quite as much in the paper crafting industry and so I thought that was a good addition to this layout. Um, I used my laser square here to help line it up and what I'm going to do is just go all around where there's open parts on the border and I'm going to add different stickers. And these stickers were called Tiny Text and they had all kinds of different little uh, words and phrases that were just happy things that would work for family or friends. Um, and so I'm adding in different ones that both color coordinated and went with the day that we had. Um, in lieu of having to do some hand journaling, this kind of helps pull out the sentiment and tell the story of the day a little bit. Um, as you know, I'm not, I'm not a huge journaler, so if I can find a way to include some additional words beyond my title, you will often see that I do that through stickers, and if I do want to add some journaling, I will tend to do it on the back and keep that personal, since a lot of my work is out there available for everyone to see. So um, that is how I'm getting that accomplished today with little tiny stickers. You can see that some of them are long, but they are like about a quarter inch tall, so they're not tall at all. And the laser square is doing a great job helping me get those lined up because the border that I'm working with is kind of a doodled border and so I needed something a little straighter to help guide me on that. So I wanted to talk to you real quick about the giveaway I'm doing this month. I'm going to be giving away a $10 gift card to scrapbook.com and I'm changing it a little bit this month. First of all, you can be a subscriber and leave me a comment and that will get you an entry. But additionally, if you want to head to my Facebook page and like that page or head to my Instagram feed and like that, you can get additional entries and just leave me a comment here letting me know you did that. And then next Wednesday on the 27th, 
no, sorry, Thursday. On uh, next one, Thursday, the 27th, I will pick a winner and I will just respond to you on YouTube. So please make sure to check back on those comments so I can get that prize out to you. Um, I am doing one last little step here and that is adding in some wood veneer pieces which was our stash bash last month. So if you like wood veneer, look back for last month's videos because there are some really good ones. Um, and I am adding, these ones are from Jelly Bean Soup. They're little tiny flowers and I am just pulling out a variety of them and adding those using some adhesive dots. Um, the adhesive dots come from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L and I'm using some of the mini ones so that they, I don't need a lot for these little tiny flowers. Um, but they get the job done and hold those wood pieces on there securely. Now, believe it or not, this month, and like for the first time in a long time, I'm not adding any enamel dots onto the layout. You almost always see me do that, and this time they just did not fit the color and everything. I liked the clean look that I had going on, and by clean I mean not too much stuff it just was just enough where it was and so I did not add that on which is just super unusual for me um, I also liked kind of the subtlety of the colors that were going on and I felt like enamel dots were going to add too much to that so thanks so much for being here today here's some close-ups for you and there will be a still shot there at the end be sure to enter the giveaway and check out the rest of the layouts in the hop today thanks so much <music>